All right, Secretary of Defense, are we really sticking it to those Russians? Uh, sir, things are going well in the Middle East, and we're going to be launching an attack across Europe pretty soon. But the Russians have a convoy headed here. What was that? The Russians landed a massive tank column and convoy in Virginia. We don't know how they got past everything and landed there, but now they're driving this way towards the White House into Washington, D.C. Oh no. Yes, sir, we should probably call the Rangers over, but it'll take time for them to get here. Arm the police units around the city. Get them in a defensive perimeter around the White House and block off all traffic, take all the civilians in that traffic, and hide them in the White House bunker. Well, sir, the problem is that the Russians have hidden agents within our civilians right now. If we start pulling people off the streets, we could have Russians inside the White House. That's obviously a big no-no. All right, block off the civilians. We need to hold out as far away from the main steps as possible and give us time to prepare defenses over here. Yes, Mr. President, it'll be done. What's up, gamers? It's me, Daily Tactics here, and Washington, D.C. is turning into a war zone. We have had a battle with Russia and the United States going on for the past few Call to Arms episodes, and uh, that has mainly taken place in the Middle East. However, now it's coming to the U.S. home front here. So we have a block of Washington, D.C. that actually leads up to the White House here that uh, the Russians are sending a convoy through. Uh, they landed this convoy somewhere in Virginia or something like that and have just been hauling butt this way, fighting battles until they got to this point. Uh, they have additionally gone ahead and flooded the streets with uh, Russians who are disguised as American civilians and they are just now taking out their weapons uh, to take on the police forces because the police were tipped off about this convoy and about the Russians hiding in the crowds. Uh, there's also vehicles filled to the brim uh, with Russian soldiers and things like that that are going to hop out. The police have most of the roads barricaded, uh, but, you know, those barricades are just police cars. Tanks can roll over those bad Larrys. Uh, but the police do need to hold out until the Rangers get there. So the Rangers are coming in on these Humvees as well as uh, these, uh, what are these called? Uh, M1A2s. I was going to say M2A1s. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, they're coming in on these M1A2s from two different angles, and they're going to be converging this away. It should be really, really cool. I think it'll be a sick battle. I hope you guys enjoy. Be sure to comment down below what you think uh, of this battle. Subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, be sure to smash that like button, boys. Let's get it going here. All right, fellers, let's go ahead in slow-mo here and press start. And let's check out what goes down. So the Russians begin to open fire on the police forces in Washington, D.C. Uh, they start getting out of their cars and things like that to begin this battle. The police are fighting back. They were semi prepared for this at least to some degree but uh it's it's gonna be a tough battle man it is mainly a surprise attack not to mention the white house is at stake here so uh the police are gonna be pretty nervous i'd assume this is probably the biggest moment of their entire career and uh they're they're gonna give it their all here we got swat team in here uh, additionally, basically, most of the local forces have come out here. We have to understand, though, that this is likely not the only city block uh, where a battle like this is going on. The Russians have probably sent uh, soldiers to many, many different uh, city blocks within Washington, D.C. So, the uh, civilian disguised soldiers are getting into it at the end of there. Um... Meanwhile, uh, the main Russian forces are just starting to mobilize, coming out of their troop carriers here and beginning their attack. We also have uh, some T-90s and T-80s in the streets here for the Russians, beginning to uh, run over some civilian vehicles, blow them sky high. Oh, no! Oh, jeez, American tank right there getting absolutely decimated. A second one coming in here. Hopefully this one uh, can do better than that one because that one just got blown to smithereens man not a good look not a good look at all 
Here comes uh, some US Ranger infantry coming in hot though. This tank is now using the other tank as a bit of a shield. It's firing its machine gun on top as much as it can and preparing its main cannon to fire. It does get a shot off right there. Looks like it hit this T90, but no kill I don't think. Nope, no kill at all. This thing is still alive, so these two tanks are gonna square off. Oh no, this one seems very distracted. It doesn't seem to be aiming at the, uh, at the M1 Abrams at all. Oh, it, it does rotate around and takes another shot at this M1 Abrams. I think the M1 Abrams tanked it. Maybe not. Looks like it hit the engine and the Abrams is beginning to burn. Not a good look. I think that Abrams is dead, is it? It is, and uh, out goes the tank crew running out of that thing. Going to join the infantry battle. Not good at all, dude. The Russians have tank advantage on the battlefield now. Here's a T-80 backing up, actually, into the residential district this way uh, we do have an Abrams over here that could potentially take it out if it notices it there's also some Humvees coming forward to try and help out El Presidente over here um, here we go some good news over this way as the uh, SWAT team and police forces begin to move through the crowds here they are taking out the Russians and the Russians are actually retreating back a good bit here they are losing ground to the American police forces here Good on you, boys. Nice job. Let's take back America here. One Russian at a time. Let's get it. Let's get it. Of course, this entire situation is very, very unrealistic. I mean, w World War III, uh, I, you know, I don't want to speak too soon, but I'm, I'm hoping it is very far away and, you know, won't happen in any of our lifetimes. That would be great. Um, obviously, we don't want something like this happening. That would be tragic uh but uh on top of it being very very hopefully far away uh i i don't think this is very actually realistic because let's be completely honest here the russians wouldn't be able to land such a large invasion force uh into america and just stroll up to the white house gates but for the sake of you know a fun video that's that's what we're doing here all right, so uh, the Russian military is coming up and starting to support some of the uh, disguised Russians over here who have sort of a solid defensive line set up right here against the cops. Uh, the U.S. Rangers are very far out. Where are they? Uh, these are some civilians, actual civilians who ran away. This Humvee seems to be broken down. No, it's perfectly fine. It just never came forward. Are you broken? Can you not move? There we go. All right, we'll move that forward. This one got stuck. I guess we'll just empty out all of the troopers from it, I suppose. Yeah, just get out of that. This one also got stuck. Okay, the Rangers, their navigation skills are not on point, man. The Ranger navigation is doing really, really badly, man. It's not good. It's not good at all. There's also Humvees back here who, like, skirted to the back lines, but... Now they're not doing anything, so we'll just drop the infantry off here. Here's the Abrams, which is skirting all the way around the flank and going this way. Dude, what? Alright, you know what? Let's go into normal speed here. The vehicles in this are not helpful. And in fact, the U.S. military here, the Army Rangers, some of the most elite units in the U.S. military, are doing extremely poor jobs right now it, it seems like the SWAT team and local police are doing more than the military the military is totally out of whack here and uh, and the police forces seem to actually be taking the fight to the Russians and managing to do a lot lot more damage than the military oh no oh look at this this BA Russian here with his with his light machine gun just firing off, he doesn't end up going down, but he did a lot for the cause, comrade. Good, good job, hurrah, hurrah, yes, huzzah. <laughs> Lovely job there, Russian chap. That was British, and bad British. <laughs> I love reading comments of people trying to say my accent's terrible. You, you guys know, I, I'm aware. I am aware, I cannot do accents. I can't even do a Boston accent, and I, I was born here, and I've been raised here. For 20 years <laughs> 21 years <laughs> and I can't do a Boston accent let's go down to the packy let's let's get a, a couple of beers at the packy and uh, then hit Duncan get a get a nice ice culotta I can't do it I can't do it man I cannot do a Boston accent for the life of me well I'll, do, I'll try the classic pack the car and have it yad 
Then then head to the packy. Take the green line over to the packy. Take the commuter rail back. You know, the commuter rail is way nicer than the green line, eh? <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it, dude. I'm so trash at my Boston accent. Oh, man. All right. The Russian forces and the American forces here are at a bit of a stalemate straight down the middle of this Washington, D.C. street here. They are just firing off at each other and, uh, you know, getting a kill here or there. But for the most part, they're, they're at an impasse. They are stuck. By the way, you guys might not might notice that this isn't the same sort of quality of mod as the uh, the Call to Arms video game. Uh, this is actually the Call of Duty uh, mod. I think it's called like Call of Duty Modern Warfare mod, uh, and it basically takes assets from uh, all three of the Call of Duty Modern Warfare games. Uh, Call of, Duty, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2, and Modern Warfare 3. They don't include the uh, the newest Modern Warfare, but I don't think they could get access to those assets. But it takes uh, assets from those three COD games and puts them into Men of War Assault Squad 2 and a bunch of vehicles and stuff like that. I think it also takes some assets from the Red Rising mod and stuff. Maybe. I think. That's just a guess, but I, I don't know if that's actually true. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. But yeah, it, it takes stuff from those... Um, those places and puts them into Men of War. And there's a sweet, obviously, White House map for it. So I thought we'd do a little trilogy within our World War III, um, you know, videos where we do this White House map. So this is sort of the initial Russian landing into Washington, D.C. Then the next episode will be some sort of a siege at the White House. And then depending on that, how that goes, the Americans will either try and retake the White House or uh, they will push back the Russians and retake Washington, D.C. if they manage to hold the White House. So that's sort of the plan for this. Uh, you know, obviously susceptible to a lot of change depending on how things end up going and how things go here and whatnot. But, uh, you know, I think it's kind of a fun idea, you know. How did this T-80 get back here? Dude, the Russian tanks are like wild, man. What? I didn't, I never noticed the Russian tank was all the way back here. What's it firing at? Destroyed a Humvee. That's like firing at this building? Dude, what? Wait, we've also got Rangers just hanging out over here. Hanging out at the, uh, the diner, Joe's Diner. What, what, what are you guys doing over here? Come on back to the battlefield, fellers. Can you not get back? Wait. Is it all blockaded? No, you can go that way. Yeah. And then we got these rangers over here. Oh, no. These are just civilians. Yeah, those are just civilians. You guys can do whatever the heck you want. You, there's no requirement for you guys to go to war. <laughs> it's just the rangers, man. They need to help out a little bit. Come on. I can't believe that T-80's right there. <laughs> That's insane, actually. Oh, he's trying to hit the cop cars right here. Oh, and there's actually a couple rangers right here who did manage to flank around, but uh, are now sort of stuck right there. Man, Russian vehicles are whack. <laughs> Absolutely whack. Okay, what do we got here? This is actually a ranger. How did he get in the middle here? He is really stuck here amongst a lot of Russians. Ooh, he ends up going down. He does get a grenade off before he dies. Ooh! That actually killed a few Russians because it hit the van and then blew them up. Whoa! Alright, the police force here actually did end up going down for the most part. We have a few rangers over this way who are sort of on the flank. And then we've got some, some police forces and a couple of rangers over here. Uh, so the Russians have almost got this place on lock. I'm going to help out the uh, Americans a little bit. You know, I'm American. Got to help my own people out. I did not help. In fact, that was pretty bad. Um, hop out of that police car, mate. You got to fight for the, for the motherland here. All we have is a pistol. We've got a pistol against a T-80. Nope, nothing... Good happen with that. What we got in here? That's just a random civilian. More random civilians. You're, you're not going to do well. I mean, we got these three rangers. We can push them through. But for the most part here, man, I, I think uh, this DC alleyway has fallen. And the next step will be for the Russians to go up against the White House itself. And we will, uh, we will have an entire battle for the White House here. My goodness! Some crazy things are happening. Let's just... Ugh, man, I can't... I couldn't get a foothold, man. All right, yeah. All right. Listen, T-80, no, no, you're starting a preemptive assault. That's for next episode. Next episode, we haven't set up defenses. No! All right, so...
I'll just pause it. The, uh, the Russians have managed to take this block, this street block in Washington, D.C., and they are going to start rolling up at the White House in the next episode. However, the White House is going to pull out all the stops, of course, to try and prevent them from taking over uh, the White House, of course, the, the center of American democracy. We're a republic! Let's get it, boys! Let's drive these Russians back in the next episode. Should be pretty epic. Um, I think it'll be really fun. I had a lot of fun with this video. I love kind of the modern theme we've got going right now. I hope you guys do too. Be sure to hit the like button if you do. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, comment down below your thoughts and opinions on this video. Alright, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace! I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.